Hello guys, I am, well before I start my results for the Royal Rumble 2016, I um, do like to apologize for uh, the cut shorting of the live streaming that I've done, but due to uh, my father has to go to bed and I moved my Xbox to the living room and I know my family is a little crazy, but I know that my siblings, they're inspired in WWE too. And what happened after the Royal Rumble, it was like I was rage, raging over what happened at the Royal Rumble. So here I go with the results for the Royal Rumble. We kick off the Royal Rumble, but the kickoff with a fatal four-way tag team match to qualify for the Royal Rumble match. And as we all know, Mark Henry and Jack Swagger picked up the win after the Dudley Boys hit a 3D on Victor, but they break up the pin, so Mark Henry and Jack Swagger picked up the win. And then we went to the real kickoff for the Royal Rumble. We have the, Intercontin the Intercontinental Championship last man standing match with Dean Ambrose, the Intercontinental Champion, versus Kevin Owens. And it was crazy. A good way to kick off Royal Bumble with tables, with kendo sticks, with chairs, with steel steps. I thought it was going to be an ounce table to go by. But Dean Ambrose picked up the win with no submissions, no pinfalls, no countouts, no disqualifications. And, and Ambrose wins for the count of 10. And then we have the Tag Team Championship match, which is the New Day and the Renew of Francesca 2, the Trombone versus the Usos. And, but to be honest, I kind of have a feeling for a 50-50 chance that I might like the New Day, but I love the Usos better. But, as we all know, the New Day did cheat to pick up the win, but at least the ref wasn't looking for, um... You know, but still, the New Day pick up the win with Big E doing the big ending on one of the Usos. And then we have the United States Championship match, which was Kalisto versus Alberto Del Rio. And it was awesome. It was really awesome. But um, at least um, at least Kalisto keep kicking out um, the finishers. No, it was Alberto Del Rio. And... Um, Kalisto rolled Del Rio up with a Solisto stole and picked up the huge win to regain the United States Championship. And it was awesome because it felt so good to get Kalisto regaining the United States Championship. And then we have the Divas Championship match, which is Becky Lynch versus Charlotte. And Charlotte picked up the win with um, a thumb to the eye and a spear and a help from the nature boy Ric Flair and what was did not see it coming Ric Flair kissed Becky Lynch but it was what was that what was that and after the match Charlotte went on the assault on Becky Lynch and who made her return none other than the boss Sasha Banks and as we all know I thought Charlotte was going to reunite with um, Charlotte back at NXT. Um, but Charlotte and Sasha Banks were friends back at NXT. But Sasha Banks turned on Becky with a bank statement. And I have a good feeling that Sasha Banks might beat Charlotte for the Divas Championship. I think I have a change of heart now. And now we move on. <sighs> To the 30 man Royal Rumble match. We start things off with Roman Reigns as entrant number one. And who enters at number two? None other than the Rusev Crush. At least Lana was there, but he didn't walk in the ramp. But shockingly, shockingly, who entered at number three? Three is always the best. Like, whenever it comes to number three, they always made a triumphant return. Like last year they did Bubble Ray. And this year, I'm getting the feeling it's AJ Styles. 
I did not know much about AJ Styles, but I've heard of AJ Styles. Like, from other people who knew about AJ Styles. And entry number four was Tyler Breeze. Entry number five was... I don't know. I lost count. But during the Royal Rumble match, the League of Nations attacked Roman Reigns, but it was from the bottom row, but he was never eliminated. But he was assaulted and attacked, and I definitely felt so upset. I was in shock. My heart was beating, and they sent Roman out of the ring, but he was never eliminated. And as Sheamus was about to enter as number 29, but before I get to that, Brock Lesnar comes out. And, and, who shows up? Well, Brock Lesnar eliminates the whole Wyatt family, except for Bray Wyatt. And the 401 Assault screw Brock Lesnar over not becoming WWE World Heavyweight Champion. It was all the Wyatt's fault. And it won't be awesome, though, if Bray Wyatt versus Brock Lesnar and WrestleMania 32. Comments below to see what do you think about that. And then, as entry number 29, Sheamus was entry number 29, but as he was about to go into the ring, look who showed up! My boo! Superman punched Sheamus! And he's still in the Royal Rumble match. Thank God. And it was awesome, but not as entrant number 30. Who entered number 30? It was none other than the game Triple H. 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 He was injured back in TLC! He was abused. He was abused by Roman Reigns. He was a, and he was ambushed by Roman Reigns. He was attacked by Roman Reigns. He was speared by Roman Reigns. It got him out of action for a month because of Roman Reigns. I love Roman Reigns. So it comes down to the final four, which is still Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns. If you remember last year, Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns were the final four, but this year the final four was still Roman Reigns and Ambrose. But it was Sheamus and Triple H, all three, all four of them in the final four. Roman Reigns eliminates Sheamus with the help of Ambrose and Superman Punch. But shockingly, shockingly, Triple H eliminates Roman Reigns. That made me upset. That made me cry a little. You know how much I inspired, no, Roman Reigns inspired me. You know how much Roman Reigns inspired me. And it comes down to the final two. Dean Ambrose and Triple H. We all thought Dean Ambrose was going to win, but my brother told me that Dean Ambrose could hold two championships at the same time. But nope. Nope. That did not happen. That did not happen. It was Triple H that eliminated Ambrose last. Was the 2016 Royal Rumble winner and became the new WWE World Heavyweight Champion. And the McMahons, Stephanie McMahon and Vince McMahon, came out and celebrated. Well, I hope that I came to you guys for the results for 2016. It was shocking. I was upset. But still, before I did that, I was raging. But I was so mad that I rage. But then again, thank you guys for watching the results for the Royal Rumble 2016. Hope to see you all in the next one. Have a great night.